On July 11th, 1950, a child was born to the Smeltzer family, who lived on a small farm in the rural village of King City, Ontario. He was a beautiful boy and an only child, born to his parents late in life. His name was John Thomas Smeltzer, and he had a smile that radiated his unique spirit. He was also born with Down Syndrome. By the time John was 19, his father had passed away, and his mother was seriously ill. It was her final and greatest wish for John to find a permanent home. He found it here, at L'Arche Daybreak. John has lived here, at the new house, in the community of L'Arche Daybreak since 1970. It is a community where people with mental disabilities and the assistants who come to live with them share their lives together. His mother was promised that John would always have a home here. It is a promise that stands firm today. This is where I met John, in his home at the new house, a home we share with seven other people. Here we are at the table together. I am one of the new house assistants, and I am one of John's friends. We have lived a lot together, life's ups and downs. We even buried a dear friend together. Over the years, our friendship has grown. Like all friends, we learn from each other. I continue to learn from John. John has a disability, and John also has a gift. This is the story of John's life, and of the gift he has to give. John was raised by farmers. The farm work which he does today runs straight from the heart of his upbringing. His strong work ethic, his tough hands, and his connectedness to the land and the animals are a part of the roots of his life. Today, John works on a nearby farm. We take good care of them here, and you help feed them, don't you? Right. Yeah. What's this? Working them? Yeah. I don't know. Does he have a name yet? I don't know. No, I don't think so either. And the fence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're really friendly, though, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. John lives to breathe farm air. He has stayed faithful to his root values, a love for people, a love for animals, and a love for the land. John carries many responsibilities. Among them is delivering the mail in his community. From his work to his play, John is a people man. He is well known for his enthusiasm, his positive spirit, and his boisterous greetings. He is an ambassador of goodwill. Every weekend for years, John has walked into town, bringing his smile and his heart in hand. He greets the local merchants of the businesses that line the Young Street Strip in Richmond Hill. Uh, so he has coffee with us on Saturdays? Yeah. Has, did you have some donuts today? No, yeah. No, okay, you're going to have some? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, good, good. Saturday without John is not a Saturday. That guy. It's a new guy. New guy. You didn't meet the new guy? No, I hadn't. That's the new guy. That's Hi. Carl. Hi, John. He's Carl. Carl. Oh, he used okay. to come in every day. When we first opened, we had a store down Elgin Mills. Oh, he came in Elgin every, Mill. every right. night we came yeah. in. Yeah. What's that, about 14 years we know you, eh, John? Mm -hmm. 14 years too long. Mm hmm. Uh. Yeah. 14 years? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I hold that, yeah. We've been friends for 14 years. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He makes my day because he comes at the right time. Yeah, when, it's not, when it's not busy, but then at least with seeing him, my day can go on a little bit better. Yeah. So it's right. uh, you're a great guy, John. Right. Good to see you, man. So basically, John is always walking up and down Young Street. He's always around the area, walking mm -hmm. through this plaza. He comes to Winners at least once a week. Eh, John? Once a week. Once a week, at least. And uh, he calls me big guy. Big guy. And the other guy. Bob, Bob, Bob's a big guy. Yeah. Um, he he makes everyone happy. He puts a smile on their faces. John here comes by every Saturday. Mm -hmm. He's friends with everyone. Yeah. And you 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 make.
make sure that we're uh, we sell enough cars, right? All right. You ask okay. us how many cars we sold. Mm -hmm. And you tell us how many you sold for the day. I got two today. You got two today? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got three or four. We're doing okay today. That's good. Better yeah. than usual. Uh huh. And you used to come see me at Ford, right? That's right. Because I was at Ford before. Yeah, used to come Ford, you told me that, yeah. Yeah, two years yeah. I was there yeah. and you kept coming there. Mm. Yeah, so John's uh, a pillar of the community. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Buckley, one of John's oldest so friends, these, these has been going out for coffee with John for many years. It's country style. And they see him coming in and they immediately begin to get his coffee and get the little plate out for the Hawaiian donut, you see. The other day, there were the this motorcycle crowd came in, and I mean, they really, I mean, they weren't a motorcycle club, you know, that often people have, you know, they're just these these guys were leather, huh? leather and and nail heads, okay, and all bandanas, and they were just clanking across a thing like this, and we're standing there, and you could, you know, and they were they were you know just talking and talking. and John just went up to one of the one that was standing there and he says hi my name is John and the man nearly died I mean he just he didn't know who was this he didn't understand what he was saying and uh, I said John ask him again say and then the guy got his name and then he says to him he said so the fa and then he says what's your name so the man had to tell him you know and I'm not sure if it was really his name because I don't know if he's wanted by the police <laughs> and then John says to him Where's your home? Mm. And the fellow just looked at him, and he just, he said, what? And John said, where's your home? And the guy says, oh, you mean my home? You mean where I live? My, no, you mean my home? And then he said to him, I'm from Cornwall. Mm. So, but he was, the man was, he, it was so incredible. I mean, for me, it was just, he suddenly, he was just totally disarmed, and then he, he was like, you know, he really went back to where his home was, where his roots were. And he does that all the time. He never asks people where they live. He always says, where's your home? So where's your home? I live in Thornhill. Hi, great, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Clark and Young. Hi, great, yeah. Yeah. When he's uh, saying to you, where's your home? That's a deep question. John is a spoon man. He has a natural sense for rhythm. It is his rootedness, the music of his life, that John gives so freely. He regularly plays with the bands at the local Irish pubs where he can let loose and shine. leading us home. He's a good shepherd. John's life exudes home. He is at home in himself, and like a good shepherd, he is leading all those who know him home too.
We are walking in the light of God. We are walking in the light of God. We are walking in the light of God. We are walking in the light of the light of God. We are walking. We are walking. Oh, we are walking in the light of the light of God. We are walking. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Gently you my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death Your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. You have set me up and of love in the face of hatred, crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, 
from to laugh into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death 